Hello and welcome to Christmas with Indie Brands and as you will have seen by the title today is Christmas with Lois Cosmetics a UK indie brand um, so yeah we're gonna I've got the Gone Rogue palette I have got the Easy Rain liquid eyeshadow in Kingdom which you will see and I have the Fine Style Fine Liquid Eyeliner Pen just in black um, so yeah I have done my face the the base you will find everything listed in the description box below um, also the earrings and the necklace that I have on uh, from Amy's accessories I will link her details in the description box below also and I nearly forgot for those of you who don't know me I'm Steph I am a lover of colorful and indie makeup mainly all things makeup but mainly colorful and indie makeup um, so yeah let's get right on into this Poppy you're gonna have to move darling <laughs> yeah say goodbye you're gonna have to get down there that's it good girl right so firstly I have primed my eyes with the ABH eye primer uh, it's the first time using it so so yeah let's jump on in so I'm just taking a spectrum a12 and diving into can't compare this beautiful red so today's look is going to be a Christmassy red and gold look so I'm just going to oh, look how pigmented that is I'm not so worried about my uh, my lid because I am going to be cutting the crease so let's just get this placed down first and then we'll look at blending out this is such a beautiful red it's got so much depth absolutely gorgeous this is not a first impressions I have already tried this palette and I love it absolutely love it so while we are packing on ready to blend out let me just tell you a bit about Lois Cosmetics uh, now Lois uh, is a makeup artist professional makeup artist um, she's a it's a one-woman owned brand um, so she does it all herself um, she has worked with uh, brands around the world to advertise and promote their makeup um, she managed their social media channels and created thousands of beauty products including award-winning bestsellers that just sounds amazing and um, through personal experience of speaking to her um, I don't know her personally but I've, I've spoken to her a message she is such a lovely lovely lady she's a mum of two and yeah the the brand she goes out of her way to be inclusive so she wants to make makeup for all so I'm just taking a just a Morphe brush from the Mama Mitchell collection and I'm not adding any product I'm just blending these edges so while we blend these edges let's have a bit more of a chat so uh, all of Lois's products are vegan and cruelty free which is fantastic I wouldn't be featuring them if they weren't just winging that out a bit look how beautifully this blends absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful so yeah there are two eyeshadow palettes there's the gone rogue which is this one and also the rose metal which is a more rosy neutral kind of palette um now i know i have said that i thought it was too neutral for me but then i've seen um I've seen people playing with the palette and the looks that are created and I have to say I am now interested <laughs> because uh, whilst being a little neutral it's not not completely neutral wow 
this blends like a dream these eyeshadows are just amazing I don't know what sorcery she has used to create these but they are high-end quality beautiful I know it looks a little bit mad right now but I promise you it's going to come together you just need to wing that out some more look at the depth in that absolutely gorgeous now this palette is one of my absolute favorites i am loving it so so much so i'm just going to quickly cut my crease and then we'll get on with the eye look okay so dopey here completely forgot to press record um so i didn't film all of this so what I did, I cut my crease with the ABH primer, which I have to say, so far I'm really impressed with. And I went in with Rare Treasure, this beautiful gold, and put that, well, everywhere that the primer was. So uh, yeah, we are thus far. <laughs> Sorry, too many painkillers. My head is in the clouds. So yeah, where was I? Okay, so I'm just going to take the Lois Cosmetics uh, Fine Style, the uh, liquid eyeliner pen, it's just the black one, and I'm just going to quickly paint it up. Okay, eyeliner on. I don't think it loved going over the thick layer of uh, gold eyeshadow I have, but we've got it there and I didn't worry too much about making it too opaque because we are going in with the Easy Rain Liquid Eyeshadow in Kingdom. And I'm going to be using just a little brush. That is gorgeous. I'm just covering all of the black eyeliner with this green, which is absolutely stunning. Um, so yeah, all of the stuff I cut out, what was I talking about? Nightmare. Um, so yeah, there's the two eyeshadow palettes, which are 19.99 each, which I think is an absolute bargain. That's in British pounds. Um, and these liquid eyeshadows, they come in six colours and they are 8.99 each, which uh, I think is a bargain. And I have heard that they are a very good stealer dupe so uh, I haven't tried the stealer ones myself but this is going on just so beautifully um, I'm only taking a little bit at a time um, just because I want to be quite precise. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to want these in all of the colours. Because this is so beautiful. 
so so beautiful look at that shine that is so so pretty um the eyeliners the uh, pen eyeliners um i believe come in also six shades you have to excuse me i've got the shakes and they retail for i believe uh 7.99 each that's in pounds which again i think is a really good price i think Lois Cosmetics is a really affordable indie brand. And uh, so far I'm mega impressed. Mega, mega impressed. Um, she also does brushes and a beauty blender, I believe. Um, and from what I can see, they're priced very reasonably too. Um, and I have heard very good things about them. Right, I'm loving that. Right, I'll quickly do the other eye and then uh, come back because otherwise it's going to be so long. Okay, so that's finished. I am loving it. Really Christmassy vibes. So what I'm going to do is along the line between the uh, red and gold, I'm going to stick some gems. I've just got this uh, little wheel of gems. Just some red ones. So let's spin the wheel. <laughs> and firstly, I'm going to pop on some eyelash glue. And then I'm going to use this little tool here. I'm just going to dip the end of it into um, some water so that I can pick them up easily. And then I'm going to be popping them. Oh, crikey, squeaky stool. And then I'm going to be popping them along that line. And then we're going to start here. And just plonk some dots of glue. Okay, so now we have the gems on. I'm going to go back into, I should open it up first really, um, back into the palette to do the lower lash line. I think I'm going to go in with outside the box, this green. Um, I think that is going to really top it off, tap the brush off. We're going all the way along with this green. I absolutely love this green so, so much. It is stunning. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, that was definitely, I think, the way to go. I love that. Love it. And uh, as there's no, like, brow bone highlight in a corner highlight in the palette, I am going to go in with my Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter. And I'm going to pop that in the inner corner. Yeah, that's it and just bring it down onto the lower lash line slightly. Oh, I like that. This look has been so much fun to create. Really cheered me up. I was meant to be filming yesterday. Um, but I was in way too much pain and way too groggy on the medication I'm on. It's the one to help me sleep. <laughs> it helps me sleep, 
but then I feel awful the rest of the next day. Apparently that will only last a few days. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so just taking this up on the brow bone. Oh, look at that. Yes, I am loving that. Wow. Um, so I think I'm going to head off camera, finish my face, and then I will come back just for a quick chat and say goodbye. So don't go anywhere. So this is the finished look. What do you think? I'm really, really happy with it. I feel really Christmassy. And as you can see, I do actually have some Christmas decorations in the background. Um, hopefully that will be improving a little bit as we uh, move closer to Christmas. Everything that I've put on my face, I will have listed in the description box below for you to check out, um, along with Lois Cosmetics website for if you're interested in having a look. Um, I can say I highly recommend Lois Cosmetics from everything I've tried so far and the customer service is amazing so yeah go check her out so that's the end of today's video if you've enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up like the video it really helps me out let me know in the comment section below what you think of this look and if you're not subscribed already then there's plenty more Christmas festive fun coming up so hit the subscribe button and that way you won't miss the next time I upload. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, lovely evening and taking care of yourselves. So I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.